Can you possibly represent a, a film that's made of thousands of images, tens of thousands of images, uh, w with one image? All of my work is derived, at least in this Western series, from single frames from, from movies that I uh, am attracted to for one reason or another, and uh, I'm drawn to paint. I've always been interested in Western movies. They've been uh, a refuge for me, uh, a, a visionary landscape and center of adventure and legend uh, ever since uh, childhood growing up in the, the plains of southeastern Colorado. My mom used to tell me that they would go to the late show movies with me as an infant. And uh, I, be, I was born in 1950, and I believe that uh, I saw some of the films that I paint obsessively. Uh, I think they imprinted on me pretty, uh, pretty strongly. I work, at, work with a projector, and I find uh, I'm dependent on it. I first started doing that as an expedient mode to make images quickly. I was painting very expressionistically at first using this kind of imagery. Now I paint much more uh, deliberately. I, I construct the tonal skeleton of the painting. Um, but I like to work inside that projected image. It, it, to me, it's part of the magic of cinema. My favorite Western film director has to be John Ford, even though I love uh, Anthony Mann and Sergio Leone and Sam Peckinpah and Arthur Penn. There are many great artists have contributed to this genre. And, and to me, one of his greatest films is My Darling Clementine, a uh, film that was made in 1946. I, I love the courtliness of this, uh, this composition, uh, the painterliness of it, the uh, formal uh, perfection with the, the chair in the, in the uh, foreground, uh, the marshal uh, somewhat at a loss for words. He's a, he's a man of action, not a, not a uh, charmer. <laughs> uh, and this woman bringing, uh, she's a school teacher and she's bringing civilization to uh, Tombstone. I, I build the, the, the skeleton and armature of the paintings uh, fairly uh, systematically. And in this case, uh, putting down the, the mid, middle tone gray and then a lighter tone of gray for the highlights and then working in the darker tones for the, uh, the shadows and the solid forms of the chair and the figures. And when I was halfway through with the figure of the marshal, I, I felt like there was something resonant about the state of incompleteness and, and the tentativeness of this moment. Um, so I, I just uh, left it there. To me, this, this painting is, uh, is kind of a poetic homage to uh, the great, great artist that John Ford was and the great uh, performances that he uh, got from these actors and the very strong pictorial uh, authority of his work. I get a little restless with, with the black and white world that I'm usually working in. There's one painting in the show called Ventilator Blues. I have painted that image on top of a blue surface on which I affixed, carefully cut out white, this paper, painted the gray over that paper, and then uh, carefully removed the paper after I'd finished the uh, image of the outlaw. And so the, uh, the holes are uh, a reference to the, uh, just the Western cliche of ventilating somebody with, with bullet holes. Uh, the, this color is this color of the sky. Uh, so I have fragments of sky uh, play bouncing around on the surface of the painting too. So it, it's a painting that, uh, it's playful. It, it, uh, references some of my uh, influences, uh, artists like uh, John Baldessari or Katie Noland, who both uh, use photographic imagery with uh, holes in them. I come from a very uh, abstract and contemporary background as a, in my painting, my training as a painter, 
And um, the way I paint is not as carefully rendered as most realist painters. I always start my paintings in, a, in, a, in an abstract, freely painted vein, and sometimes there are words underneath. I like to have a palimpsest of other information under, under my imagery, and it gives me something, uh, it creates more tension in the final work, it enriches it, it gives it a meatiness, you know, a density. I'm so attentive to the, the difficulty of controlling paint, and so I let it be itself a lot of the time. I try to keep a lot of animation in the way I handle the paint, which, which is part of my feeling for the experience of, of cinema. I love what the figure of a, a rider and a horse, the, the combined figure, represents as a kind of a co-evolved, uh, symbiotic relationship. The horse gives the human extra power. I go through images of galloping horses till I get the position I, I exactly want. People and horses are moving a little bit, and, and I love those kind of blurs, that, that kind of evidence of, of a movement in a still image. I use every skill I have, that, and the skills are developing still, I'm happy to say. And that's rewarding after being a painter for 40 years to uh, find hope that, that, one is, that one's uh, faculties and skills are, are still uh, evolving. And I think it, there's some kind of poetic uh, completeness to making paintings out of filmic images.